Have you ever ran into a problem where you're afraid of having your account locked or being locked out of your user profile on Amazon and you really don't know what to do or how to make it not happen in the future? Well, we have some solutions for you to make sure that you never get fully locked out of your account again. So first and foremost, my number one tip for everyone who sells on Amazon, no matter if you are a single seller doing everything yourself or if you have a full team with you, always have your super user, which is typically your owner account, along with a secondary user, whether it's one that you log into, someone else logs into, or anything that also has full user permissions. What I mean by that is you should always, always, always have a secondary account, even if it's just a dummy account, added as a user onto the account that has full admin permissions. The reason for this is that if you ever, for some reason, get lo locked out of your primary user account, you can always add other users via that secondary account, you can sometimes even submit support cases to your uh, or for your normal user account as well. So what this really does for you is it allows you to fully kind of utilize your entire system. The only thing you won't be able to do from a secondary user is usually update banking permissions. But even then, past that as well, you should have the ability to do everything from a secondary user. So that's my number one tip first and foremost. Secondary tip to that, your login settings. One of the biggest things, if we look here, you can see a bunch of different user accounts. You're going to have normally more than one user account, right? So I always suggest having that secondary user account like I was talking about, but adding a uh, different user account for every single one of the people who logs onto your account. The reason for this is you want to be able to keep track of who has what permissions. You shouldn't typically have more than one person or service logging into any one user at any given time. You can get your account locked if you are doing it that way. However, what do you do for anything past that? So how else can we really do anything there? So great answer there is login settings. So if we go to our login settings here, you can see there's a bunch of different stuff. The primary things that you want to make sure that you have as far as an OTP code. So Amazon has two-step verification for most all user accounts. A lot of people in this day and age use their phone number for an OTP code. However, I would highly, highly, highly suggest that if you're going to use something for two-step veri verification, you use a authenticator app. You can see that down at the bottom here. The reason that you should use an authenticator app is for a few different reasons. Basically, a OTP code can, one, be hacked by other people. So typically speaking, people can go about and somehow spoof your number, which could give them access to your account, get that OTP code. On other hand, you could also just lose your phone number. It's not impossible in this day and age still to lose a phone number and no longer have access to it. And sometimes you might just not even be able to. We've had situations where people are outside the country and unable to get their OTP codes because of the fact that they don't have service or their phone number simply just does not work in the country that they're in. So absolutely get an Authenticator app for your OTP. That will make your life a million times easier and you will not get logged out or locked out, I should say, with Authenticare app. So these are the primary tips that I have for you. Again, we'll recap. Number one, always make sure that you have a secondary admin user on the account that has user permissions and can add other accounts, create support cases, everything in between, even if you're a single person selling on Amazon. Number two, make sure any person who's logging into your account has their own user profile with specific permissions. Don't have multiple people all logging in under the same exact user profile. You're going to run some issues there. And then finally, number three, for any form of login credentials whatsoever, make sure that you have multiple forms of secondary authentication, but absolutely make sure that you have an Authenticare app of some kind, whether it's a Google Authenticare for free, 1Password, or any other type of Authenticare uh, that you can put on there with QR code. Those are going to be your three best ways to make sure that you are never, ever locked out of your Amazon account again.